Haji is very upset, man. There's a lot of differences in, in that training camp. He's actually left that training camp. What do you make of that, man? Are you surprised that things just completely blew up? What is it like four, six weeks away from fight night? Yeah, I mean that's that's I mean that that close that's very tough, you know. So I don't know I don't know the details of what happened, you know. You never you never know with the inside scoop, you know. Well, so it was a picture that had man Haji on the front, man. Haji claims that McGregor pushed him. McGregor, he didn't pass it. It hasn't quite said that he knocked him down, but that's the perception of the picture. Do you think that he had the, the skills, the ability to be able to drop a fight of the caliber of Malinaji and sparring? Oh, man, sparring, it's everyone's got a good day, everyone's got a bad day. You, yeah. know? So you gotta expect to get your butt kicked every now and then. It's the only way you get better. So you never know what could happen, but it's also, you know, uh, and then unless you actually get to see it happen, you can't believe what you see, you know? Yeah, TJ, yeah. Experience with boxers is they're a little bit more heavy-handed. You know, they are able to set their feet a little bit a little bit more. You know, like I said, the the, the range and the distance in MMA is completely different. You can't be so flat-footed like you can in boxing. As well as they've been punching their entire life. That's all they've done. You know, I wrestle my entire life. You know, get in there, uh, teach boxers some double legs, and see how it goes down. You know, it's not gonna work.